came into the lab today to see that monstrous looking swarm. Well, no doubt that's a sizable swarm. Uh, it's not quite as monstrous as I thought it was at first. There's a lot of tree branch there. It is high enough that, uh, boy, I would need a bucket and a pole to fish that thing down, which I don't have in my arsenal right now. Mm, boy, that's a shame to, to, to let that go. That's, a, that's still a gorgeous collection of bees. Unfortunately, I had to leave town last week at just the moment when we spotted a swarm right up here in this tree. So what I've done today is I've gone out and grabbed a large scale painter's pole. And let's see how close it is for reaching that. It's four days later, so the swarm that was up in that tree is no longer there. And uh, you know, it was just lovely, absolutely lovely looking swarm. And it feels just like a shame not to have, not to have captured that. I'm just gonna do a quick measurement with this pole, just to see how close we would have been if we have had one of these. My thinking is, if another one of these comes by, we wanna be ready for it. So this pole goes up to 24 feet. And you can see where that plastic bag is. That's where the really nice sized swarm was. And now that it's no longer there, I, I had assumed, as you see that thicker, tree limb. I had assumed that it was a much thicker limb that those bees were on, uh, which means in fact it was a it was a nice sized swarm. All right, I have extended just the first section of this aluminum and fiberglass painter pole. So let's see how well it shows up. Oh, look at that. Almost exactly the length necessary to have captured that swarm. So if we see any other swarms that come back to the same location, there'll be no problem. We'll get a bucket uh, or a mesh wire trash can on the end of this pole, and that'll give us a marvelous time for any new swarms we get here uh, as the season progresses.